Hey there, my webcrafting wizards, wapoosh! That's a banned spell in Hogwarts, don't use it. Have you ever wanted to make a really cool 3D website? I don't know about you, but ever since I started my journey in web development and web design, I've seen these amazing interactive 3D experiences out there on the internet, and I had no idea how to do them for the longest time. So in today's episode, we're gonna create the sleek, fancy Tesla Model Y rolling in. And the best part about this is that it's only probably gonna take about 10 minutes. So drop a like, drop a sub if you enjoy this content, and let's get into it, shall we? So our first step is to find a 3D model. Now there's loads of websites out there. Perhaps the most popular ones are Sketchfab and CG Trader. So if you just search car model free here, you have a good variety. The, the one we used was Model Y. So if we search for that, I'll leave this in the description down below for you to download. Our next step is to head into Spline, and this is where we can create our animations and our interactions. So let's hit login. It's gonna present us this page and we're gonna hit new file. Cool, let's click off of this. We're just gonna delete this rectangle here. We don't need it. And next up, we're just gonna pop in the car. Now this might take a while to load up, so just give it a second if it's lagging or anything. Next up, what I'm gonna do is just head over here to the rotation Y and just rotate it to minus 90 degree. So it's perfectly on the side like that. Next up, let's click on this light here. And if I hit the, the gizmo here, so you can, we can change the position and angle of our camera. So if we hit the green one, that's gonna take us to the top. I'm just gonna take this light and move it to the back right there. And if you wanna go back to the camera, you can just reset camera if you right click. Now what I wanna do is essentially darken the whole scene quite a bit. So if I just click here on the empty screen, I can go to the background color here and just make it black. Cool. Next up, we can also adjust the scene light here. So if we head to the light, the intensity, I'm just gonna lower this quite a bit till you get a silhouette like that. So maybe like minus 96. Lovely. Let's take the directional light. We'll just move this down a bit. And let's increase the intensity to something like 2.2. Let's move this up until we like the look of that. So maybe something like that. Now the second step is to actually get this car to animate in. So this is gonna be quite simple. We're just gonna move it off screen. All right, so that's our base state, which is the initial position. And then the state here, we can say uh, drive in like that. What I'm gonna do is just reset this back to zero like that. And on the events here, we're gonna add a start event and add a transition and we're just gonna say, hey, go from the current state to the drive-in and this should last two seconds. Now the wheels aren't moving, so we actually have to open up the model here and just try to find those wheels. So let's open it up. And the last one here is wheels. So we have the front ones and the back ones. So let's go with the front ones first. Again, we're gonna create the state. Base state is gonna be the same. However, the second state, what we're gonna do is just rotate this to minus like 780. Now on both of these, what we need to do is add another start state. So on start, we'll transition the wheels for two seconds. Next up, what we wanna do is also have a big text here at the top saying Tesla Model Y. So let's head over here to the text tool, drag this out just like that. Uh, we're gonna go to the text content here on the right side and say Tesla, model y let's take this text now as you can see you cannot really see it even if we put this to white it's still quite dark that's because the lighting is affecting it so if we turn the lighting to zero it's just gonna be pure white let's increase the size of this something like that there we go and then we can just align it to the middle and perhaps bring it a tad bit down we can also align this center like that all right, same story. We're gonna add two states here. The first state is gonna have the color starting at zero, and the other state is gonna have the color fully on. So that's basically like controlling the opacity. And one more thing, on the base state, I can just slightly perhaps maybe move this down. Now nothing is happening because we haven't added an event to it, so let's add a start. And we are gonna do 1.5 seconds on this, and I'm also gonna add a slight delay. So let's do 0.5, and this is only gonna be at the start, because we can reverse this animation, and we don't wanna have a delay then. And there we go, cool. Now next up, what I wanna do is move that light up to the front. So let's go to directional light, and we'll add a state here as well. Base state, we'll call this front. And let's head to the top and we'll just move the light 
right into the front and maybe a tad bit to the side. We'll see how that looks. Now remember, this also needs a start event. So on start, we'll transition the light and we'll do two seconds and we'll also add a 0.5 delay. I also went here to the main panel and added the ambient shadows and turned that on. And on the light, as you can see, the resolution here of the shadows is quite funny. So I'll just increase that to large. And let's hit play again. Next up to add some interactivity, we're gonna select the circle here and just drag out a little circle over the wheel. Cool, we're gonna add two states for this. Base state is gonna start off as a, we can pick a fun color, maybe a nice light orangey. And as you can see, it's not full orange, that's because the lighting is affecting it. So let's turn that all the way down and maybe we'll change this to almost white, maybe a tint of orange. Cool, let's turn off cast shadows and receive shadows. We don't want any of that. And let's maybe lower the size a little bit. Let's do something like that. So that's our base state. And our base state is gonna start off invisible. So we'll turn the color off. And then the state here is gonna have the opacity back on and the size revert back to one. There we go. Now, one more thing we need to do is this needs to run on start. So we'll transition our state over. We'll change this over to spring for the easing. And we're gonna add a two second delay at the beginning only. Now what we need to do is also add a hover state over this. So what we'll do is create a new state and call this hover. And this will activate not on start, but when we hover over it. So there's another event that we can pick from here called mouse hover, and we'll just transition from the current state over to the hover state with a spring as well. Now nothing happens because we haven't really changed anything on the hover state. So what we'll do is let's maybe decrease the opacity a tad bit on it, and also the size. We'll increase it slightly. There we go. Now to actually animate in and change the angles of the car, we need to add a camera object. So let's select the camera object from the panel up here. And down here, we're gonna say, use this camera. So now when we create states, our base state here is gonna be our first angle. And our second state here is gonna be our second angle. So let's call this angle two. And now I can just hold Alt and move my car around at any position I want, at any angle I want, and just leave it right there, for example. Okay, and now look, if I switch between the states, you got those different positions. So now we can just add a mouse down event here on the circle, and we can toggle this. Okay, so now what that means is I can easily animate between the two scenes. So let's do a transition here and I'll select the camera and I want it to go from the current state to angle two and I'll change this over to spring and the mass to two and the stiffness to around 40. I found this looks quite good. Let's try with the stiffness down to 10. That's much better. And I also want the eclipse to go from the current state back to the normal state where we can hover over it again. There we go. Can hover over it again. Nice. Click. All right. And now we'll just hide the text here and pop in an additional information text for that circle. And again, you can move these and make as many as you want. Uh, it's super fun. <laughs> so what we'll do, let's again, let's head back to the eclipse here and let's have fun. So on mouse down, we're affecting the camera, the eclipse. Let's also affect the lighting. So let's do directional light. And let's create a new state for this. So we'll call this beam, full beam. We'll increase the light and we'll move it across to the angle. Maybe a tad bit up and to the side and we'll change the color of it to light orange. There we go. Cool. So now we can head back to the eclipse and on mouse down, we can take the directional light from the current state 
to beam. We'll do two seconds on this and we'll also add a one second delay on start. And look at that. Our final step is to hide this text and to pop in a new one by the side. So again, if you also want to preview like how the finished look of the car looks like or the finished position, what you can do is head to the car and I'll do the drive in here and then go to the camera and I'll want to make sure I select my angle too. And now it's really easy for me to work and just add more text here, for example. So let's pop that in there. And let me just copy over the text I had from the other. Lovely, so let's create two states for this as well. The initial state is gonna start off blank, like that, and then the new state is gonna start off with the color all the way turned up. Lovely. And the same thing we can do for the other text as well. Oh, it looks like we already have the states. So now we can just all hook it up to this eclipse here. So on mouse down, let's click on that. We'll need to add two more here. Let's do a transition. We'll start off with the text two. And this is gonna go from current to state one in two seconds. And we're also gonna add a one second delay at the start. And our text pops up, fantastic. Does it go back the other way around? It does. And now all that's need to do is to do the same thing for the first text. Let's go from the current to the base state here and there's not gonna be any delay. So let's hit play and have a look and there we go. That's the base idea on how to create these interactive 3D animations. Now let's take this and bring it to our website. So from here, let's just hit export and we are gonna copy over this embedded link. Next up, we're gonna hop into Wix Studio and we are gonna embed our spline 3D animation into our section. And I'll remove this bottom bit here. I'll have this section and just extend it all the way down like that. And now what I'm gonna do is head to the top here and insert an iframe. And here we can just enter the code and update. So there we go, that's gonna add a iframe. So there it is, let's full screen this out. And look at that, lovely. I also went here to the top side and changed my resolution to 1920. I also found this Tesla SVG icon, so I'll just insert that in my page. We could also get this Tesla font downloaded as well, just so it's all unified nicely. If we click here on the font, you can hit upload fonts and we can insert our new Tesla font. Now to make this a tad bit more seamless, I'll also take the nav bar and I'll change that to black. So we'll keep it all nice and unified here. I added a couple more nav items here in my header and now I'll just group them all up here. So you can do that if you hit Control G. So select your items, Control G, boom. And now on the stack, we can also animate it in together with the rest of our animation. So we can hit on entrance here, plus, and yeah, let's give a couple a go. Look at that, that's just a basic fade in. We can do a glide from the side. That might be a bit too extra. Let's keep it quite minimal. So something like that, slide is quite good. And then we can further adjust this. So we can add a delay. We'll do 1.5 seconds and the duration should be quite quick. So 0.75 and the distance, let's lower this. The nice feature is that here we have a button to preview the animation. There we go. Let's lower this a tad bit more to 0 0.4. And now let's hit preview. There we go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know if you want to see more 3D stuff like this. It makes me really excited. All right, bye-bye.